The battens for installing the shingle tiles have to be positioned with a 250mm spacing, measured from the front batten of each batten up to the ridge. You can use a string line as demonstrated here to ensure you lay the batten straight. Nail in place at regular intervals to ensure the battens are securely fastened. Metratile shingle has been designed with a unique hidden fix system, which leaves no nail exposed, therefore preventing rainwater from corroding the nails, a common weakness of other products. Starting at the bottom right hand side of the roof, fix the first shingle using four screws or nails per tile through the flange at the top of the tile. The fixings should be evenly spaced. Working from right to left, continue to lay each shingle tile in the same way, ensuring each one interlocks correctly into the previous one. At eaves only, nail each tile at their lowest possible point into the eaves batten. Use a touch-up kit to cover up exposed nail heads. To complete the first row of shingles, it is likely that you will have to cut a section of the tile off in order for it to fit flush with the edge of the roof. If possible, use the cutoff from the previous tile to start the next course. Hook the nose of the upper tile into the lip of the tile below, ensuring a tight fit and continue to fix each tile with four evenly spaced nails for each successive course up the roof. At the upper course, Cut the tiles to suit the ridge if applicable, using the apex of the roof as the cut line. Lay out timber battens on either side of the ridge. Then place a ridge cap over the top to act as a guide. When the battens are arranged as you'd like, Mark on the tiles all the way along the outer side of both battens, so that when you nail them in place, they'll be straight. Hammer nails in at regular spaces along the battens in order to firmly fix in position. Where the cap meets hips, you can cut it so that it snugly fits over the top. Secure ridge caps to the battens using four nails per side.
take the caps to the full length of the ridge and notch it to overlap onto the barge board. Where necessary, apply the same technique as with the ridge for creating hips that will lead up to and join with the ridge. Start by fixing a preformed ridge end cap at the bottom and then overlap it with a ridge, as usual securing on both sides. Continue overlapping ridge caps all the way up the rest of the hip.